Alfie Manfort, 807 personal best. Oshan Perrin, I've already mentioned him, the under 20 British record holder, 754 personal best. James Young, Jake Whiteman, of course, Tom Keane, Travers, and Charlie Wheeler right on the outside. Alex Edeka is going to do the pace, looking for around about 63s. Away they go, then expect quite a fast start, fighting for position, then they're going to look to settle, settle on these laps early. It's all about rhythm running this 3,000 meters. Etika in his GB singlet, looking nice and smooth up front. Tom Keen, it looks a little slower maybe. 16, 17 at 100 meters, so it's looking a little bit slower than what they want, but Tom Keen there, 337, a phenomenal 800 meter runner as well, 146. Trains alongside Whiteman when they go to training camps, had a good stint in Flagstaff with him. Etika just checks the watch. And he's now going to just inject a pace. And this is what you want to avoid, that up and down, almost fart leg type of running. You just want a smooth, even rhythm the whole way around to these athletes. So it's Keane, Sesman, Whiteman, setting right behind Whiteman, just like, well, they train together. I was going to say, just like in training, but I think they're pretty much neck and neck in training at the moment. So let's see how they do today. Oshan Perrin with that slightly lean style in the all-in-one singlet, the green sleeves on his T-shirt. Charlie Wheeler there sitting back in the pack. Now, he's the one. I'm just telling you to keep an eye on 492 in the all-black strip. The long flowing locks, a little bit Prefontaine-esque is Charlie Wheeler. Nice rangy style as well. So, Etika just picking it up a little bit, and they're just biding their time, just taking their time to respond to that early surge. As Keane just nicely sitting in behind. The pace does seem to be a little bit up and down. But if we get anything around about 136 to 600, we're on for a good one. But, you know, it's the 3,000 meters. There's a lot of laps. You don't want to be just up and down too much. 135. Whiteman, Travers behind Whiteman in the gray. Travers was third last year. 7.55. He ended up running. And very good. So the athletes, this is 3K. When my... Whiteman even mentioned it himself last year, how hard it is. It's just an awkward pace where you're not, you don't get to relax like you do in perhaps a 5K and a 10K. You are on it. You're on the gas the whole way. But Tom Keane looks very comfortable there in second place. He's running very well. Whiteman in third as well. 2.06. So they're on. This is good. They're sub eight minute clocking and you bet your life they're going to wind it up. And Whiteman finished his world championship run last year in around about 54 seconds. He's used to running 1,500 meters in 50 second laps. He's going to enjoy slowing it down a little bit, even if it is January as well. So just a few, no gaps yet. It's just a crucial time. You just want to relax. You've got that first 800 done, the first K coming up. You just want to keep it nice and control. Keen, Whiteman, Travers, Seddon, Perrin, Sesman and Wheeler. Those are your top seven. No gaps yet. All these men are pretty much on eight-minute clocking there or thereabouts. So the telling time is going to be what they do over this next kilometer. Really, Tom Keane and Whiteman up at the front. The two New Balance boys. Keane, I must say, looking very strong, very relaxed. He is in good shape. Mark Vile done a brilliant job with him. Obviously linking him in nicely with Whiteman every now and again. But... Is that good? Is he just pulling out? He's just looking. I think he just drifted wide. He just wanted to say to Whiteman, can you take it? I don't think Whiteman was having any of it. You know, they may train together. They may be friends, but on the track, they're rivals and they're enemies. And it's every man for himself. So it's still very, very tight at the moment. No one dropping off yet. These guys have done the work. They knew what they were getting themselves in for today. They knew this race was going to be around about 7.50 to 7.55. They knew... It was going to be hard from the start, and it's early season as well. That doesn't help, but Keane, Whiteman, Travis, said in Perrin, and Wheeler just moving up now. We may well see a big last lap, and I think Keane now is just drifting out. Whiteman again says, nope, I'm not getting involved, and we can now see it just bunching a little. We're just seeing four minutes at 1,500, there or thereabouts. So we're inside eight minutes, which is a good clock in, but expect to see a bit of a burn up over the last few laps and we're just queuing up a little bit. Whiteman now is in front but he doesn't want to get involved in a race. We're really bunching and now Parent, we thought this might happen. This man is a special, special talent. He's an under 20, 754 man. He's graduated 13, 49 outdoors over 5,000 meters as well. He's a bit of a triathlete as well but now he's going 
and it's those surges you want to avoid. It's slowed and now it's picked up. Whiteman easily just checking his stride. To be fair, the world champion following Perrin, almost towering above Perrin with that slight lean. As next time around is going to be the 2K markup. Perrin, Whiteman, Keane, Travers, Young, Wheeler, Seddon, Sesman, Porticus, and Manthorpe. So still a big old train ahead of them. They just want to stick at their task now. <laughs> Heron doing a great job, biding his time, and he's doing a great job moving the pace along. We'll get a split as well. 64 would be 520. They're going to be well inside that. They're going to be inside eight minute pace. What can they do with a K to go? Heron, 519. So they're just a clip inside eight minutes. This is tough running for these gentlemen. This is almost a replay of a year ago. Whiteman then kicked hard in just a lap or two, about 800 to go. Whiteman made a long run for home. He's clearly feeling pretty good at the moment. So it's Perrin, Whiteman and Keane. So Perrin, Perrin is a gutsy young runner though. He's not gonna let the world champ have this easy. He's just turning the screw a little bit, just looking at the clock each lap. He's pretty much clipping off 30, 31 second laps at the moment. Wheeler. Is the one to watch him fifth, just on the back of that pack. Travers as well, and Keane. Sesman's moved up. He had a good December showing in 8.05. Sesman ran early season. Here goes Perrin. They're going to come up now to three laps to go. And not much has changed over the past few laps. It's going to be hurting these gentlemen out there, though. With 6.23. So that was a 63-400, so we're just about 7.58, 7.59 at the moment for these gents, and it's all eyes on Whiteman and Keane. When are they going to go? Wheeler, don't count him out. He is a 5K specialist, but he does have a pretty good kick when he wants to, and kicking in a 3,000-meter race is different to a 1,500 race, because here comes Sesman. Whiteman follows, and you just see that injection of pace, that almost that class from Jake Whiteman. He's on it. He's switched on. He's dialed in. He's very, very focused. What can he do over the last 400 meters? 6.57, if you like, with a bell to go over there on an outdoor track. Keane is not giving them an inch. When is Whiteman going to go? He's on the shoulder of Sesman. This is impressive from Sesman. The guy did a marathon in October in London. He finished 10th in the London Marathon, 2.12 there. And now he's back on the indoor boards. Running over 3,000 meters, competing with the world champion, Jake Whiteman, 7.25. Expect this to be around about 7.50 if he has a big last lap. Wheeler in third, moving up nicely as well. Tom Keane, Oshan Perrin in there as well. Jake Whiteman's not having his own way. Says was coming back. Will speed prevail or will strength win? Jake Whiteman, two meters on Sesman, who's going to fight back again. Is it going to be a replay of last year? Will Whiteman lose again? Yes, Sesman gets it. 754. Whiteman on the line. Wheeler, Perrin, and Keane have to hop him. Manthorpe in next. Travers, Porticus, James Young battling there as well. And Seddon coming home as well. What a run, what a battle. And it was just a replay of last year where Whiteman went early. And you thought he bided his time. You thought he had that one. But Sesman, I said he was coming off a marathon. Strength wins today over speed.